Class 7 ICIC Subject English Revision Chapters 1, 2 and 3. So children now let's start our revision. So you all know first Roman letter will be reading comprehension. Okay. So this is going to be about the poem we have read already. So it is chapter 2 Govinda's Disciple by Rabindranath Tagore. So I'll read it quickly once and then you have to answer the questions. Okay. So far below flowed the Ganga quick and clear. Amav frowned the jutting bank. Hills dark with the woods and scarred with the torrents were gathered around. Govinda, the great teacher, sat on the rock reading scriptures. When Raghunath, his disciple, proud of his wealth, came and bowed to him and said, I have brought my poor wealth unworthy of thy acceptance. So this is only the first two stanzas and you know the name of the poet. Okay, so now let's see the question answers. Far below flowed the Ganga, dash and clear. So you have to fill in the blank. So what will be the answer children? Yes, it is quick and clear. Okay. Second one, name the river mentioned in the poem. What is the name of the river? It is Ganga. Next one, who was Govinda's disciple? Who was Govinda's disciple? Yes, it is Raghunath. Next one, choose the correct answer. Hills dark with the woods means what? What do you mean by hills dark with the woods? That means the hills look dark because of the thick forest. Okay children. Next one. What is the name of the poet? What is the name of the poet? It is Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. So your first Roman letter is over. Now let's discuss the synonyms in antonyms. Okay. So what is immensely to a great extent? Castle. The giant lived in a castle. Isn't it? What do you mean by castle children? Castle is a large building. Next cloak. Cloak is a sleeveless outdoor overgarment. Okay. Next one prosecuted. So prosecuted means institute or conduct legal proceedings against a person or an organization. Next one, gruff voice. What do you mean by gruff voice? To be rough or stern in speech. Very strict in speech. Okay. Sixth one, wander. That means move about aimlessly. Okay. Without any reason, you keep on moving here and there. That is wander. Seventh one, searchingly. What do you mean by searchingly? In a questioning manner. Next one, overwhelmed. So overwhelmed is have a strong emotional effect on. Next, the sable head. The hair of a stable, soft, furry animal used is an artistic brush. So the artist used brushes, isn't it? The hair is of sable hair. Next one, bagged. Bagged means one. They bagged the first prize. We say no. So bagged means one. Next one, write the antonyms of appreciate. What is the opposite for appreciate? Depreciate. Next one, refuse. Accept. Immensely. Slightly. Excitement. Indifference. Boredom. So, what is the opposite of excitement? Boredom. Next one, expensive. Okay, this watch is very expensive, you say. For example, what you buy in Sunday market will be it's cheap, isn't it? So, that is the opposite. For expensive, it is cheap. Next one, mischievous, well-behaved, interrupted, uninterrupted, constant. Next one, puzzled. What is the opposite for puzzled? Confused. The next Roman letter will be true or false. Okay. You have to read the sentence properly and in your test notebook write only true or false. You need not write any statement. Okay children. So first one. The Jain saw the children playing in the garden. He shouted loudly. Yes or no? Yes. Answer is true. The Gaint had a beautiful garden. Was the garden beautiful children? Yes. Answer is true. Manjula was a football fan. Okay, so what is the answer? Correct answer. She is fond of painting. Okay, so the answer will be false. And at sunset, Raghunath came back to Govinda. The answer is true. And Manjula was 13 years old. Yes, the answer is true. And the next topic will be answer the following questions. For this Roman letter also, write the correct question number and write the correct answer. Okay, children. So only one of you questions I'm going to discuss. Other questions you're going to read, write and see before the test. Okay. First one, why did the spring not come to the giant's garden? Why? So the spring did not come to the giant's garden because he was selfish and did not allow the children to play in this garden. Okay. Then what made the spring finally visit the garden? The spring finally visited the garden when it saw the children playing in the garden again. 
okay the remaining questions you just read write and see without any spelling mistakes okay so now we are going to discuss grammar exercises and the first formal letter will be phrases so what is a phrase children a phrase is a group of words that may have nouns or verbs but it does not have a subject performing an action and you all know it may function as a noun adjective or an adverb in the sentence so here sentences will be given and you have to write whether it is a noun adjective or adverb for the underlined phrases in the sentences okay already you have uh, done it in the textbook in page number 15 okay and just you're going to revise for the test first one the master makes them stand in a corner so where does the master ask them to stand it answers to the question where so the phrase will be adverb phrase okay second one crowds of flowers cover the valley what cover the valley crowds of flowers okay so the answer is noun phrase next one i have never forgotten my mother's advice so here what will be the phrase my mother it is a noun phrase Sec next one tagore was a man of many talents some description is given here when it is described what phrase it is it is an adjective phrase next one the cards are changed in quick succession okay how in what manner and how much like that it means it is an adverb phrase last one they do their rehearsals with the door shut so with the door shut so this is also an adverb phrase okay children the next topic will be about clauses so what is a clause it is a group of words that forms a part of a sentence and has a subject and a predicate of its own you all know what is a subject and a predicate isn't it children and a clause can be two types what i have told you independent clause and dependent clause what is another name for independent clause it is main clause and dependent clause is subordinate clause okay children so in an independent clause it is a complete sentence and it contains a subject and a verb and it expresses a complete thought and it can stand alone so that's why it is called as an independent clause and what is a dependent clause it needs some help okay so it does not express a complete idea it needs the help of a main clause to make a complete sense okay that is about de dependent and independent clauses now sentences are given so you have to identify the underlying clauses and you have to write whether it is independent or dependent clause okay children so first one till he was 9 oscar wilde was educated at home so the underlined clauses oscar wilde was educated at home so it is giving a complete meaning so what clause it is it is an independent clause okay next one when he turned 17 wilde went to attend trinity college in dublin so when we stop after when he turned 17 are you getting a complete meaning no isn't it so that is an dependent clause okay children next one wilde's interest in art grew after he read walter patter's books on this subject so here wilde's interest in art grew yes it gives a complete meaning so it is an independent clause so like this you have to read the sentence and you have to read the underlying clause think carefully and then write whether it is an independent clause or a dependent clause okay children children you all know the next topic homophones very well so i'm not going to explain sentence by sentence just i'll say what are homophones what are homophones they are words that sound the same but have different spelling and meaning so here you have to fill in the blanks with the correct words from the brackets so first sentence alone i will tell you here the word principal is given so p a l and p l e s what is p l e s it is law here the principal means one who manages the whole institution okay so which one will be the correct answer p r i n c i p a l s okay children so the other sentence also you have to learn like that children the last topic will be punctuation marks so this i need not tell you again you all know how to do the starting letter should be a capital letter and wherever comma question mark exclamation is necessary you have to change it so out of these two any one you will be getting okay children so write it neatly with legible handwriting without any spelling mistake in your test note write the index that is monthly test number 1 and then you just start writing and i also want you to remember that 
5 marks is there for online attendance, 5 marks for your assignment submission and 5 marks for your classwork maintenance. Okay, so total 50 marks. So children, I wish you all the very best. Try to score full marks. Okay. So children, use your four lines notebook for English test and submit it on the correct time and send snapshots during the time given. Okay, children. Thank you one and all. Have a superb day.